Residents of St. Louis, Missouri are in mourning following the nation's latest deadly school shooting. On Monday, a 19-year-old gunman entered Central Visual and Performing Arts High School and opened fire, killing a student and a teacher. According to the organization Education Week, there have been more than 130 school shootings in the U.S. where at least one person was killed or injured since 2018. And one of the deadliest school shootings happened four years ago at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, where a gunman killed 17 people, including including the young girl you see here, Gina Montalto. On Tuesday, the Parkland shooter sentencing will begin, and Gina's father, Tony, is carrying out her legacy by trying to create change in Florida laws. He joins us live now. Tony Montalto, thank you for being here. Good evening. Thanks for having me. What are you hoping for on Tuesday, and what will Tuesday sentencing mean for you and your family? Well, Tuesday sentencing will sadly be a disappointing end to the trial. However, uh, we do have the opportunity to address the court. And uh, when we do that, we'll talk about some things that uh, made the trial not quite so fair to the victims. Uh, we, we saw a lot of stuff taken away from the victims in, in this process. And uh, of course, it's important to remember that the victims are not everybody. The victims are the ones who lost their lives. The victims are the ones who were shot. Um, and sadly, uh, it appears that the jury lost that moral compass tell when they me, made their tell decision. Me more, tell me more about that. What was not fair to the, to the victims here? Well, uh, and, and again, some of this is just uh, Florida law and the way it's played out. But the jury was instructed to uh, ignore our victim impact statements. How can it be a fair process if the only people who can speak for the deceased um, are ignored when the jury goes to deliberations. Um, another thing is the, the chief judge, not the judge who ran the trial, but the chief judge uh, told us we couldn't wear simple pins or, uh, or the bracelets that we have to remember our loved ones, uh, not even T-shirts, uh, talking about the, uh, the foundations that many families have started afterwards or, the, or Stand With Parkland, which uh, all our families have uh, you know, been involved in at one point or another trying to uh, protect students and teachers in schools as we move forward. And um, I believe uh, that the, seemed uh, very unfair. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. I believe the, the shooter does not have to be present on Tuesday uh, to, to hear these statements. Do you know if he will be there on Tuesday? And, and does it matter to you that he sit there or stand there and listen to what you have to say? Uh, it doesn't matter to me whatsoever. Uh, the sooner we can uh, let him disappear into the black hole of the correction system and not give him the fame that he desires, the better off society will be. And again, that's the biggest problem with this verdict is what message did we send to others in society that, uh, you know, if you have a tough upbringing, it's okay to kill 17 people in a school. It's okay to attack the future of our nation by killing students and teachers. Um, the jury while they, they showed sympathy, they sure didn't send the right message that we should be sending. What do you hope uh, the rest of his life looks like? I really don't care what the rest of his life looks like as long as he doesn't get any fame, any notoriety. Um, you know, uh, Lord help us if some of his writings about how to do the next school shooting find their way into the public and are actually used. Then the jury will see how unfortunate their outcome really was, because we don't want any other families to suffer through what we have. The loss of my bright, beautiful, and bubbly daughter, Gina, devastates us each and every day. The best we can hope for is just finding a way to move around the pain. We will never get over it. I absolutely hear you. And I just have one more question for you in the seconds we have left. What do you want us to know about Gina? What do you want us to know about her legacy going forward? Well, part of Gina's legacy, uh, is uh, being kind, being compassionate. We have the Gina Rose Montalto Memorial Foundation to uh, help others uh, achieve their goals at the same time keeping Gina's light shining. And additionally, we have Stand With Parkland, the National Association of Families for Safe Schools, again, formed by all the families that are changing laws, changing policies, and uh, trying to protect 
our nation's students and teachers at school. Yeah, and protect this from the situation from just happening over and over and over again. Tony Montalto, I, I appreciate your time and I, I appreciate the work that you continue to do. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.